What did we get ourselves into? Is that good? Oh, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Do you Go plan ahead. to visit with the Pope when he comes into Philadelphia? Well, the Pope believes in global warming. You do know that, right? All my lights are working. All the tires are still black and round. Okay, here we go. Next step, fuel tanks are off, so that's cool. So we're gonna snip, 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 blah, blah, blah. Again, we'll punch them through. Hopefully I got enough room to punch them right through. Before I can pull these, I'll have to get something under the transmission as in dunnage, blocking, whatever. That's not a good start, but, but keep going. Because I'm going to lose this mount, this support here. What else did we do? Got that thing off of the dump body. These two are like mushroomed over and we were fighting it. But we were able to get it off anyway, so I'll probably end up working on those again. Take the torch, I can smooth them off and then heat it up. And they started moving, so I mean, half the battle's over, right? So I'm just gonna double check this. I had a one, a two, and a three, a one, and now there's another one here, and then three. So. Uh, sorry, I don't know what you guys were just looking at. Wing. These were. I don't remember. As, as it stands right now, I've got it. I'm penciled in to get a frame that's already been. All the holes are drilled. So what you do is you mark any holes you don't want. So like that's why I put an X by these two because I know those weren't doing anything. So they don't have to drill these. So. These two are for the dump cradle. The one we've got is a little bit different, so I'm not gonna have them drill anything for those. I'm not gonna have them drill anything for this wing plow area. These four, two, three, four, are that cross member right here. I'll tune this up. I'll make it a little bit neater so you can actually like look at it. Yeah, look so at that. Understand what the hell I have going on. So basically, I'll only mark the ones that aren't getting drilled. But for right now, at least I can look at this. He I probably did that. And say, oh yeah, okay. So this was the battery box. This was bolts for the wing, battery box. Oh yeah, this was for the wing in the dump body. This is just the dump, dump, dump. You know, I can, I can figure it out basically by my mess. <laughs> I know. I know, I know, I know. Everything's all been touched and tweaked and messed with. So you've been double checking which holes which and where and when and how, so. Those are nothing, nothing. Part of, some of these were for the wing, some of them aren't. But we might end up changing the program. So if I can buy a couple weeks by drilling the holes myself, um, we're talking about doing that, so. We're gonna see. But for right now, I'm gonna rip out the torch um, and start <sighs> this long, painful process of getting these bolts off.
Is that good? Is that what you want? Shit. <laughs> All right, this is quickly becoming not funny. Let me show you something! Crap. I've seen mechanics burning. Well, I'm not a stupid fucking idiot. I didn't. I didn't. No, I, I really didn't. <coughs> Hold up, I'm just gonna die real quick. I burnt off that dump body thing, whatever you want to call it. That was here. No, here. These are just bolts. They were bolt holding nothing, actually. They were just bolting the frame together. So those will probably get deleted, I'm guessing. Delete, 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 all this crap. Like I said, this was for the dump body, so those will probably end up, I'll probably end up putting the same thing back on, I suppose. Just as the body goes down, it lines it up. Up left to right. And once I got that done, I ran out of gas. So, we'll take these in tomorrow morning. Exchange those. Get back to melting bolts. Um, I did have one casualty after my campfire. I was sweeping up the floor, the mess. I was picking through, taking out the bolts. And I melted this line. This one, this one's just straight up red, so that must be the one. It's a proper size too. And this is the passenger side, so it kind of makes sense with where it was. What I'm working on now is this radiator. As you can see, it looks like I'll have to pull that hose off the tank because I'm going to take that whole tank with the top bracket. This whole thing is held on by these two little bolts. I did look it over and confirm that, which is just like insane. So I'll pull off the into cooler pipes, I'll pull off the radiator hoses, those two bolts, and hose off the tank. Into cooler radiator. And then we'll uh, get the engine crane over here, we'll lift that out of here. That'll make a lot more room to get to stuff. And yeah, that seemed like a logical next step. Um, holding off on this side, because like I said, the original plan was to bring the driver's side in. We are kicking around, drilling holes ourselves. Something on the lens. What are you guys rolling in? We're kicking around, bringing, or not, sticking with the original plan and possibly drilling the holes ourselves so that being said i don't know what what all is going to change but for right now i'm going to stick with the that's, that's that bracket we'll have to smash that one out of there so that was the original thought process I'm gonna call them tomorrow morning as soon as they open I'm gonna change my plan I had put in for a double 3 8 rail which is what this originally was 
I wanted to do a single half inch, but after talking to them on the phone, they were a little bit, uh, you know, it's not as strong, this and that. I'm gonna go with the half inch so I don't have to worry about ever splitting the rails and rust in between, this and that. Uh, so I'm gonna change to the half inch. I really hope it doesn't screw them all up, but I'm gonna change to half inch and ask if I'm gonna save a considerable amount of time, then I'll I'll drill all the holes. I'll I'll get a mag drill and I'll do it. So Hello, welcome back. I'm about to take out these two magical bolts that hold this entire radiator on. So, if you'd like, please stick around a minute. And we'll see how this works out. Hey, I hope you're enjoying this iteration of my life as a living hell. I wanted to take a minute, give the backstory on this truck, where it came from. Uh, we've had it, uh, I think we plowed with it for two seasons so far. We went to look at it February 13th, 2021. We bought it to replace an international 2574, I think it was. Um, that truck was an absolute nightmare. Uh, every time we went to go out with it, it wouldn't run. Always had some kind of major problem. So we needed to, to replace that. Um, this truck was a 95 Ford LT9000. And it was listed on Craigslist for a while. Um, it was spec the way we wanted it. It was already set up with um, wing plow, 11 foot, 11 foot front plow, sander, computer, liquid system. And um, it, it was something I wanted to get into because I could run it year round. So I've attached some pictures here for you to look at. When I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it fired right up, seemed like it ran good, but every time you tried to give it some fuel, it conked right out. It would never return to idle. So uh, the owner says, oh, it's never done that. That's not something that, you know, that's new. That, I don't know. Maybe it's just a bad fuel filter. It's all right. Maybe, yeah, it was like in the, in the negatives. Um, it's probably like zero degrees if you're lucky. So yeah, maybe, maybe it's just gelling up. So we told him, get that fixed. Get us the arms for the wing plow that you had loaned out to your buddy, and uh, we'll come back and get the truck. A few months went by. We had to go and get it, even though he didn't do his part. Um, we went up to pick it up. He did get the, the guy to come out and bring us the arms for the wing plow. Um, so we got that, but it still would just shut off, which... Come to find out, he knew very well it had a problem. And in fact, it, he had put a question up on the ATHS website using his name as his um, username. So I knew it was him. 3406C, won't return to idle. Anybody ever dealt with this? So... Long story short, I sent it to a shop. He couldn't, he wasn't getting it done. I had to go get the truck back, brought it to my grandmother's, had um, started on early in the morning, every day. Um, I wanted to get the truck ready for plowing season. Um, I hooked up with a guy online, Ag Talk, on the, it's a forum website. And uh, he's a cat mechanic, real smart guy. And come to find out, they never took the 
plug out from behind the injection pump that feeds the governor with oil. <laughs> so took that out and the truck ran beautifully. And uh, like I said, we've run it for about two years. Um, it drives really well. This is a really great truck. Just it was pretty rusty when we bought it. Um, the frame was a little bit worse than what we thought when we first went to check it out. So once the dump body broke off, it was time to either take this engine and put it into another truck or do the frame rails. So if you consider the amount of money we're going to put into it and what we'd have to spend to get another truck and then probably have to switch over all the plows, all the running gear, everything. Um, it kind of made more sense just to fix what we had. So I, I kind of um, didn't really think I gave a good explanation at all to this truck and where it came from. So I appreciate you guys listening to this and um, I'll let you get back to watching the video. Thanks. The price of trucks now are getting crazy. You try to get into anything decent, they want 50, 60 grand for it or, or more. And you might not find exactly 100% what you want. And, uh, you know, if you really think about it, if you take a truck like this, that we, we, bought, we bought front springs for it, the rears are done, all rebushed, um, the engine's good. If you think about it like that, if you took 50 grand and put it into this thing, you'd have a heck of a truck, wouldn't you? So, yeah, that's my take on all that. I mean, I don't know if really anybody wants to hear it, but that's the, that's the backstory on the truck. That's where it came from. And we're going to try and save it. It'll be on your goddamn video. Just lean in and I'll back it out. Oh, okay. That's the perfect time. Yeah, right, right. I, I could have been here all day long because I bet you there's a lot of other gizmos that you Yeah, a lot of other things go on, yeah. Could have been a lot more happening, but I can see that you got this fucking thing way too small, this place. Get rid of this thing. Sir, what the fuck is that thing? I painted my truck today, my, my plows. I that, see that. That's ready, that's ready, Jerry said. I might have to be going out before you guys and I'll have to be going before the place. God, did you play this? No.
like you said, what's what's to stop them from just killing you two fucking guys? That guy. They might be like, oh well, if that's the case, you should just come get me. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. No, I gotta talk to them. So I don't know. I, that's that's the way I want it. I call him before I go. Yeah, I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna see. Morning. Here's where we're at. Steering box is gone. I was just cleaning that up so I could mark which holes are what, which all of these are gonna be needed except this was nothing. So I can mark that, nothing. What do I got, two? There's only like 37 of them. So I'm gonna pull those bolts. Pull these bolts, same on the other side. I'm gonna get rid of this frame. I'm just gonna yank it right out of the, eh, maybe I'll pull the bolts off. Oh boy, there is nothing left of this thing. What a mess. What did we do? What did we get ourselves into this time? My goodness. I've never physically taken a truck and made it into nothing before. And that's what I feel like we've done, so. Like I said, right now, first for me, I'm gonna pull this plow frame because I'm gonna have dad's help for right now. So that, that'll be great, we'll do that. And uh, we'll rip the transmission out. That's basically these bolts, these two, so I can get this out. Figured out yesterday, there's nothing holding this up. These are the bolts that are supposed to be in that. That's exactly how I found them. So that mount's doing nothing. So, like I said, I got, got the two big bolts back here. Then I could get it out. Probably pull this pin so I could get this shaft out of my way. Pull the bell housing bolts. Pull the drive shaft off. Need to replace this anyway. That's a disaster mess. You can see it was actually touching my drive shaft because this plate was all fattened up with rust and it's just a big disaster. So, yeah. Basically, plow frame, then probably rip the PTO off, the pump, and all that mess. I've got a seal. This seal leaks real bad, so I'm gonna try and fix that up. This seal leaks real bad. I'm gonna try and get a new seal for that, rebuild that PTO. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at with that crap. So without further ado, I'm gonna get to it over here, start pulling these bolts out, and I'll uh, bring you back once I'm ready to drop this thing on my feet. I'm switching two gears based on the fact that mainly I'm dumb. I think I'm going to leave this plow frame on. It might be beneficial to us. Now, so I can take it off, but now I'm taking it off. So I've got this bolt left. <laughs> so then I take, well, then I can actually get the bolts out of this and the front. The front's hold on. I'm going to rip the transmission out now because that's the way I roll and that's what I wanted to do. So then. That led to this mess of taking the fuel tank off. So I've got the strap undone on the bottom. I've got to pull these off. That one should be a real treat. This one I've, don't, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> they don't make these straps anymore. So I had to weld my straps. I got a stainless band. I welded my steps onto the strap. So I know this one's all happy well it never sees in the world that one doesn't look happy so that might take a little heat see what i'm going through Jesus. my word front of 
back in a bit. Three days later. And out, force it out. Stay. I'm gonna put you here. I don't wanna touch my hands to that, because it's red hot. Oh, babe. So sweet. Thanks, hon. Appreciate you. Now. Are you, are you saying meow? Am I saying meow? Nice. Oh, yeah. Super. This thing is meow. Tag fell off. 55. Interesting. Put that there. Come on, with me. Let's go. I don't think that tank van's long for this world, though. The only thing holding it together is the step. So that's gonna go right there. Cool. He's off now just because of gonna be in my way I can make life easier I could drop the transmission straight down and out instead of having to roll it back save me a little bit of work so welcome back to hell what I'm doing now is taking off the old pump hydraulic pump So I can get the transmission jack, or next would be the PTO. I've got these two bolts are out. The top one I think is, it, it hits the pump, so I gotta work the pump out a little bit to get it to. Where I can get it the rest of the way out. So one good thing is this leak in this seal on the PTO might have kind of lubrified the threads well not threads but you know what I mean my brain's having a problem the splines where the pump engages with the PTO so hopefully they're not totally seized right together Otherwise, we'll be in mega trouble. So, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Got some movement. That's cool. Like I said, that bolts out. Top two. I think you're going to be. About 120 years worth of grease and dirt and oil and salt and just rust, everything all mixed up together. So I'm probably going to drop it just because I'm not used to having nice things. I'm gonna 
How sweet. What a sweetheart. Excellent. I hope everybody watching this realizes that this is the realities of snow plowing. And what it does to stuff. I'm gonna grab this because that's probably most definitely gonna be a disaster. Look at that. Is that not the ugliest thing you've ever seen? Oh boy. I don't know about this one, boys. Taking that, so what? Uh... Oh boy, look at the uh, I got nothing to freaking bite, man. It's around. Oh, what the hell am I supposed to do with that now, huh? Oh, my word. Totally round. As soon as I put the square in it, the, the whole inside's just broke right apart. Well, I mean, if you want to be like really crazy, you could just pull a PTO off and let it drain there. And I guess you got this temperature sensor. You'll probably get most of it out. Oh, what a mess. I have to drain it because I have to take the PTO off to get the jack anywhere. That's going to make any kind of sense, so. I know these bolts go through. Those go straight through the case, so. Yeah. I'll pull one of them bolts and see if I get it draining. I pull this, maybe I can at least start it draining and then I'll come back tomorrow and see if it's drained. <laughs> maybe I can catch a couple of them. This, look at this. Look at, look at it. Just, what do you even do with that? I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to just, I don't even know. I'll have to drill it out and then do the same. Well, it's probably a frame before. Our normal business hours are Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. <sighs> that stinks. Oh well. Hopefully she calls me back. Look at this. Oh yeah. We got her. Trying to move quick because I just I heated this thing like right to, <laughs> right to oh. Yeah. 
Ha <laughs> boy. How about that? Don't ask me how I'm getting it out of the plug, because I don't know yet. What a cool thing, huh? Let's see how bad it looks. That vent had a hole on the top, so this is going to be interesting to see. It's a good thing it's underneath the cab, but still. Well, not bad. Look how cool that trick was, huh? You'd almost think, like, I'm cool, or I've done this before. Probably not cool, but just that I've done it. Don't even look that much like crap. Looks old, but... No water in it, so that's cool. That's not loaded. That's a good sign. So, yeah, maybe she's uh, not totally pooped. I, I usually don't say that word, but that's, I don't know. I said it, so get, get over it. I was really getting nervous. It was going to be more than five gallons because this, this plug is red hot, and I really don't want to have to put it back in. But it looks like we might get lucky. So, good news, just got off the phone with Adams. If I don't drill the, or if I drill the holes myself, if they don't drill them, and I cut the flange in the front, basically, I'm gonna save like eight or nine weeks or better of time. Um, my original drop-off date for the old rail was September 11th and if I yeah I think we're in good shape if I were to do it that way my actual pickup date I don't have to bring them my old rail because they don't need to know what holes are so my pickup date where I go and just to get the new ones would be September 25th. Right. My drop off date was September 11th. And then it was five to eight weeks before I would get anything back. Now, it's September 25th, I get my rails. So I gotta figure on a little bit of time to drill holes, obviously, but. I mean, it's just it's just drilling holes, so something I can do. So that's what we're gonna do. We're we're gonna be getting these rails sooner than what I thought, which is awesome. We were like way up against it as far as time goes, like getting the getting the new rails and getting the. Ow, that's still hot. Yeah. We're getting the uh, rails sooner than I thought, so we'll get back on our feet and get ready to plow snow and hopefully make our first inspection. That'd be cool. So, we'll see how that goes. That's, that's the plug, which is like totally better than I thought. Don't look super hammered. A little bit of metal on it, but no chunkies, so. I'd say that's just normal wear and tear right there. I'm happy with that. I never drained this one, so as you can probably tell, I don't know if that plug's ever been out in the entire life of this vehicle. <laughs> I knew I was gonna have to be in here doing some work, so I didn't bother. But yeah, so that's just about drained now. 
pop this plug back in. Hopefully, as I tighten it up, it'll pop my tool out. And that'll just keep that from dribbling all over the place, making a big mess. I won't put it super tight so that I can get it back out after. But, yeah, these things are awesome, dude. Super happy with that. Made by Erwin. That's basically what it is. And, like, I love these. Like, you snap off a brass fitting. You got to get the piece out. You get a situation where an easy out, I, I feel like they tend to push out and open up and make things worse. So I, I actually, I really, really like these and they work really well for stuff like this. So yeah, I highly recommend anybody watching this that gets a set of those in the toolbox. Super handy. So my next goal, what I'll try and tackle is I'll pop a couple of these bolts out. I know, I believe, I believe if you pull this bolt, you could get the PTO drained. I'll go grab a half inch wrench. Steve's turning around, boys. The truck driving gods are smiling down on me. What the hell are looking? <laughs> Almost like I did this before, huh? Alright, I'll drain that down and uh, this is a little trick for you guys, I guess, right there. Get my drain plug back in. I'll work on wrestling this PTO off of here. Um, I'll grab all the bolts off and then maybe I'll bring you back. And then uh, you'll see what that looks like when I take down that pile of crap. Just as a quick little note, um, put the plug back in just now, and uh, I snugged it with the wrench and the tool didn't come out. So actually, I put the impact on it and I just wrapped it real quick, just like a little wrap. And uh, she fired right out of there, no problem. And then I cleaned it, and I wanted to show you, but then I got dirty. This thing looks like it's new still. I really expected to see at least a little wear on it, but there wasn't. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that worked really freaking well. And it will continue to work because it's not all blown out. So that's wicked cool. So. That's that. So I got that plug in. I could get this bucket of oil out of the way. My PTO is still draining. So I'm going to move this bucket, grab some channel locks, and I could bend the tabs over on the on the bolts and then stop ripping them out. So, okay. We'll be back in a minute. And that's what a truck looks like with no frame rail.